welcome back to our channel. This is Relatable Nerds. I'm Ilsa. And I'm Kyra. And today we are watching, I'm so excited, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Love the Guardians movies. We are still crying over the holiday special. Mm. That Why was it so sad and so good? It was I can't so believe it was that good. With holiday specials are kind of like eh, it's gonna be hit or miss but yeah. it was just so much fun you guys should definitely go check it out it's 45 minutes of pure joy we're still oh, recovering from it pure joy pure fucking joy yes, without further ado let's watch we were gone for quite a while but no matter what happens next yeah. the galaxy up, still needs its guardians <laughs> Hello, we come in peace. It's like Earth. Yeah. Come on, Drax. Seriously, dude? <laughs> no, 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 no! whole lives. <laughs> Pete, I'm done running. Kill a few people. Kill no people. Kill one guy, one stupid guy who no one loves. <laughs> now you're just making it sad. <laughs> All right, oh, May 5th, 2023. Not to break down, Much. if you haven't heard, this is the last official Guardians movie, oh. quote unquote. Do they ever end completely? I don't know. Mm -hmm. We're gonna call it quits for now. It does seem like James Gunn is pretty busy at the moment. He was just recently named co-head of DC. Don't get fooled, he can still work at Marvel. He would not sign that unless he could still do Marvel stuff. As you know, he's been killing it with Suicide Squad and The Peacemaker, and we're so excited for Peacemaker season two. That's gonna be incredible, but we're not gonna talk about that right now because this is the Guardians recap. Oh, I think we're gonna say goodbye to Drax in this one, right? Dave Bautista's um, last uh, film, he said, for Guardians or for Marvel? He said that he's retiring the character of Drax. He could potentially die. His yeah. character could die in this. I don't, I don't really have to. I have a spoiler alert here, you guys, if you haven't watched the holiday special, but don't worry, there's nothing really intense there alluding to the future, but Drax did have a huge role in the holiday special. It almost kind of felt like a farewell in a way where they were like kind of pushing him towards like the front of everything, kind of giving him like a last, you know, final lap with everybody. Yeah. And this, he does allude to saying that, you know, can I kill one guy? And he's not gonna hold back. Cause the way that he like said that, and he was like, just kill one guy that nobody likes. And I was like, but we love you. Right, like, are you talking about yourself? Are you yourself? talking about yourself? Oh and my this, God. like movie? We're already calling it now, that's gonna be the hardest scene we'll have to watch. And as you guys saw there, it might be a little bit confusing, but Gamora is very much involved in Guardians despite her tragic end yes. in Infinity Wars. Yeah, she died in the films um, because of Thanos, but then past Thanos, 2014 Thanos, uh, came back with 2014 Gamora, and Gamora kind of like switched sides on Thanos in Endgame, and she, but she doesn't remember um, the Guardians, basically, like right. being a part of that team. She doesn't have that memory oh. before she does that. It's the same Gamora, but from 2014, but time isn't linear, so yeah. that's just... Let's just accept it. We get Gamora back. Yeah. I also know that she's gonna be in season two of Wonder. Right. I think I think we were mentioning a while ago that she should honestly get her own little show. Her and like yeah. Nebula and Thanos and just their adventures and how she grew up and stuff like that. I think that would be almost like it could almost be like a sitcom. Is it on here? Yeah, it was the podcast or anything. But we were just like, this would be so funny. Like Thanos, her, and Nebula's dynamic, you know, it would just be hilarious. Yeah. I totally forgot that entire part of Infinity Wars. I was like, wait. Gamora, I had to like really think back as Infinity Wars was like 
God, years ago. So long ago. So long ago. And you guys, super exciting here. We're introduced to Adam Warlock. We get him there for a split second. We're going to be played by Will Poulter. He looks good in this. Yeah, he you looks know? great. He's a cool anti-hero. Warlock has a lot going on, you guys. Um, he first appeared in the Fantastic Four, which, as you know, that movie is coming out in 2025. We always say, you guys, watch Eternals because there is going to be a huge connection with Warlock and Eternals. That's one of our predictions. Adam Warlock does have uh, some partnerships with Gamora and Pip the Troll, which, if you watch Eternals, you know who we're talking about. In the post credit scene with none other than Stark. People haven't seen it. Well, yeah, because they should go see it. No. I don't know. It's been, it's almost been, it's been over a year since that came out. <laughs> Star Fox, aka Thanos' brother, the god of love, walks in that end scene um, with Pip the Troll. Which was honestly one of my favorite, I think, post credit scenes of Marvel of all time. Because as you know, we love, we love Harry. Love Harry. We love Harry. And he looked great. He was a ginger. You know, Eros' character, Star Fox, is awesome too. We'll, we'll talk about that. Perfect for him. Perfect. Yeah, we have Gamora and him coming in, man, Pip the Troll and Harry Styles and Star Fox on the men. So, I mean, they're just, they're setting it up. And they're in space. Fantastic Four hangs I out mean, in space. Come. The Eternals oh. hang out in space. Guardians, <laughs> Thor. Thor. Everyone. So, Adam Warlock, a little bit about him. You know, he has all the cliche superhero stuff, superhuman strength, stamina. His brain is multi-compartmental, which grants him uh, cosmic awareness. Do a bunch of really cool shit. I wonder if he can, like, help Gamora, like, become one with her dead Her old self. self. Yeah. He's got that soul. Oh, he has the soul gem. The soul gem, which kind of ties <gasps> him into Thanos. Oh um, my god, that just changed everything. Uh, soul for a soul, because we never got our soul back, remember? Because they returned the gem back, and then we never got Widow or Gamora back. There's just so much going on with Adam Warlock. I think it'd be really mm -hmm. fun if they go this route. It almost is like very obvious that they are gonna go this route. Don't take our work for it, but you already know that we done been knowing. It's like mind blowing to even yeah. think about what this movie could be about. It's, and you know they're gonna go for it. This is James Gunn's baby. Actually on the trailers now, it says a James Gunn film. This movie's gonna push the boundaries. They're not holding back. It's May 5th, 2023. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know if you're excited about the Guardians. What do you think's gonna happen to Drax? Uh, let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Thanks, bye.